six things that are going to be huge for Sphere Finance in the future. Okay, guys, this is Dumb Crypto here. If you're new to the channel, please like the video and please subscribe. It costs nothing to subscribe. We're going to do a giveaway at 100 subs for 100 USD to four winners. Please subscribe before the 100 subs. You're going to have a good chance of winning. So going back to the video. So we are going to go through six things that are going to be huge for Sphere Finance in the future. So before we go to the six things, let's take a look at the price action of Sphere Finance. So you can see Sphere Finance is down almost 20%. It was down more previously, around 40%. You can see that um, it was actually down a lot more and recovered back. That's why it's only down 21%. You can see that it was down from its all-time high of about 11 cents. Right now, it's around at 4.8 cents. While the Sphere Finance price has been quite volatile, the project in itself is actually doing quite well where there's constant strong updates from the developers. So if you go to the Sphere Finance Discord, you can see that the de developers are constantly giving a updates AMA and they're usually also trying to address a lot of the key concerns that people have with um, Sphere Finance project. So you can see one of these particular updates from Simsala where they start to talk about that they were also not only busy with the AMA, Penrose and Dystopia, they were also trying to introduce new burning mechanism via um, Rubik and then you can see that they also talk about the V2 and the migration to their to their own um, decentralized exchange and all this is trying to combat the inflation of the token where they hope that they can um, burn enough token to start to reduce this inflation because inflation has always been part of the issue for a lot of these ROI debts and uh, auto staking projects where the project starts to decline because there's too much inflation in the system so it's really good that the sphere finance um, team has always been giving constant updates and uh, trying to keep the community positive. So if you guys are in Sphere Finance, please join the Discord. The, the developers are very on the ball with uh, the updates and it's unlike any other projects. So if we go to the Twitter post by Melbourne Dow, Melbourne Dow actually has a very good um, overview of what's happening to Sphere Finance in the future. So it talks about six things that are going to be huge for Sphere Finance. So the first one is the change to the perpetual APY where there'll be a more sustainable APY backed by the treasury investment. And they're also going to change the APY such that it's going to be alongside with the buy and sell demand of the tokens. And then there'll be a quantum liquidity and an ecosystem revenue in place to help the APY as well. So that's the first thing. We will go through more of this point later on. So the next thing is that there's going to be a bond 2.0 where it's a discounted tax for whales and new investors. And then the third thing is the positive arbitrage where there's going to be um, guaranteed revenue for Sphere from bonding through the um, new Galaxy marketplace where they're going to introduce it soon. And then the fourth thing is that they, their partnership with Dystopia and Penrose where they're trying to build a curve war themselves. So we'll go through this as well, what, what the curve war is. And the fifth thing is that the um, certain audit will be done for the v2 migration so the sixth thing is that they want to dominate the DeFi, take over polygon and fight institutions with retails all this sounds very bullish for sphere in the future so if we go to the first point that we mentioned earlier about the perpetual apy so a lot of the projects in this space have unrealistic apy and there's no way to maintain this apy in the long run eventually they'll have to change the apy such that it's based on the buying and selling pressure of the token and based on the revenue streams generated by the project's um, treasury. So you can see that they say that Sphere is going to establish multiple revenue streams to guarantee the project a long-term and juicy APY. How realistic this goal is, we will have to see how Sphere Finance Team execute it in the future. So the second thing is the bonds that Sphere Finance is going to introduce. It's going to attract the whales and new investors to do the bonds through a discounted tax system and these funds is going to feed into the treasury and generate more revenue for the sphere finance ecosystem so sphere finance is going to make a profit on this and the profit is going to go into the treasury so this is one of the ways that um, they're going to generate a revenue stream as well so building on the second point of bonds 
on the third point is positive arbitrage where these bonds are going to exist in the galaxy marketplace where people are, are going to trade the bonds the discounted tax by using bond is going to encourage the whales and new investor to trade in this get new galaxy marketplace and this trading in the galaxy marketplace is going to generate uh, revenue for sphere so the fourth point is that they're going to use the quantum liquidity to farm and earn use so if you can see in this diagram what sphere does is that they're going to deposit uh, their liquidity pool in the quantum liquidity and with the quantum liquidity they're going to get shares in k2 and then they will generate revenue to sphere and then they also buy shares directly um, from Tate and they will earn profit from T2 feeding into the Sphere um, treasury. So the fifth point is that Sphere Finance is trying to create its own curve wall. So curve wall is a combination of curve and convex on Polygon where all the stable coins fight for liquidity. So this is the curve website and the convex website. So so convex is, is built on top of the curve ecosystem so if you go to ross book tweet he actually go quite in depth into what's the relationship between curve and convex you can read through his tweet more because it's quite complicated to go through in one video on all the points of sphere finance along with the in-depth analysis of curve and convex but basically this curve and convex they are trying to is a this curve and convex is where all the liquidity happens between the stable coins and the governance token you can see that there's a curve governance token and then there's a convex governance token so if you have the curve governance token you can actually lock up on convex so it's this equal system and tokenomics where it's going to, to lock up liquidity inside the curve and convex ecosystem so sphere finance is trying to partner with dystopia and penrose DeFi to hopefully come up with their own curve wall system where they have a curve and convex but it's owned by sphere finance so obviously all this is going to generate revenue for sphere finance yeah and if you remember in the beginning of the video we were talking about the developers trying to come up with ways to burn tokens so right here the developers in the five points that i just went through the developers are trying to find ways to create revenue for the sphere finance ecosystem so with the burning and the creation of revenue they are going to they are, they are going to be able to hopefully maintain the high apy for its token holders in the future i think the sphere finance devs are actually quite on track to maybe hopefully solving some of the issues that older projects had and caused them to fail so lastly is the vision of um, sphere finance where they're looking to dominate the DeFi space take over polygon and fight institution with retails and and i think they do give up the vibe that they are being very proactive and being very um, aggressive with their milestones as you can see they have so many updates coming up for sphere finance and sphere finance is relatively new and if i'm not wrong it actually came to the market about a month ago so i think overall the the things coming out from the sphere ama is very bullish in terms of all these updates that they're going to try to achieve for the project hopefully they can get all these um, things up and running and we can see some deadlines on when these goals are going to be executed but i would say the best place to get information on sphere finance would be the the announcement page where the devs always constantly giving updates so overall i'm quite bullish on the sphere project if the developers can actually execute what they um, propose on the AMA. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Remember, we are doing a giveaway at 100 subs. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Thanks for watching.